Hello everyone, welcome to Vasometric EECP Treatment Center. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about vitamin D and its implications. Vitamin D is called sunshine hormone or bone hormone. As its name indicates, most of the vitamin D are obtained from sun rays. And also it is a very important vitamin for your bone metabolism. So it deals with calcium and phosphorus which are more important for your bone to develop. So absence of vitamin D in, uh, in a younger age group or in children can lead to a disease called rickets. In adulthood still it can cause deficiency and causes a disease called osteomalacia. So both rickets and osteomalacia your bones are very soft prone for easily fracturing your bone. So it is very important to maintain an adequate quantity of vitamin D in your blood. So the normal level of vitamin D, it should be around 20 to 50. So minimum, it should be around 20 in your blood. So how do you obtain this vitamin D? Vitamin D, as I said, can be obtained from the sunrise, sun rays. So what you have to do is expose yourself to the sun rays so that your skin can be able to observe the ultraviolet radiation from the sun and convert them into vitamin D. To make it an active metabolite, it has to go through your kidney and also to your liver. If it goes to the liver, it is converted into uh, 125 hydroxy vitamin D, which is very important because measuring this component will let you know whether you have an adequate vitamin D in your blood or there is a deficiency which should be below 20 for you to get any supplements. At the same time, it can also go through your kidney and can convert into 125 dihydroxy vitamin D. So also the vitamin D instead of sun rays can also be got into your food. But it is not available much of a food. So only certain food has a high vitamin D. One of the important high level of vitamin D is found in fish or you can take some milk or fortified cereals or beef liver or orange juice or cheese or egg yolk. So all these things contain vitamin D. So your diet if it is proper in this you might have an adequate vitamin D in your blood. So what happens if there is a deficiency of vitamin D? As I said before, the deficiency need to be corrected because if you don't correct the deficiency, it may lead to an orthopedic problem, which mostly a bone problem. So it can you may able to fracture your bone and your bone will be very soft. So it cannot be able to uh, go through all the uh, difficulty you go through your normal life, like walking, sometimes a small fall can also lead to a fracture. Now the question is, it is not about whether vitamin D is important to the bone formation and can prevent uh, bone related illness. It is, it is beyond that which is more important that we are going to discuss. Now vitamin D has become a multi billion dollar industry. In 2020, it is about 1.1 billion dollar worth market cap and probably in 2025 it will reach around 1.6 billion. So it is not for the deficiency vitamin D is prescribed often but it is beyond the bone. So many of the smaller trials and small randomized trials for multiple decades have postulated vitamin D can help to prevent cancer, can able to prevent your death because of heart disease, stroke, heart attack and also can boost your immunity and prevent you become a diabetic. So all these things made vitamin D a very important component which is prescribed throughout uh, the world by many of the physicians assuming that you would have a benefit beyond the bone. So here we need to look at whether it is really true that it has all the protection effect other than maintaining the bone integrity. Uh, to the surprise recently a larger trial which is focused to see whether this uh, benefit which has been claimed beyond bone is really true it should be adapted. Uh, there are a lot of uh, recommendation for vitamin D. In spite of all these decades, there is no clear uh, indication what is the dose of vitamin D you should be able to supplement yourself. In America and Canada, they say around 800 international unit, but many studies shows even up to 2000 to 4000 international units are required per day. So if you look at the bigger trial, which is called VITAL, which is a vitamin D and omega-3 acid. So both combined, they did a larger trial with thousands of patients through a randomized trial comparing supplements with a placebo group. They found out the results of the study showed taking vitamin D when you don't have a deficiency. Of course, when you have a deficiency, you might let end up in a bone problem. So you should take a vitamin D. But when you don't have a deficiency, if you're taking vitamin to prevent certain things, it is not entirely true. In fact, it has no effect. 
For example, the studies have clearly shown, which is a randomized large trial shown, vitamin D supplement will not prevent heart attack or death due to heart disease, heart disease, myocardial infarction, which is heart attack or stroke. And also, it did not have any effect on cancer. For example, prevention of breast cancer or prostate cancer or colorectal cancer. And also, it does not have any effect in uh, preventing you getting into diabetes 2. Nor does it boost any immunity in patient with immunodeficiency, in patient with uh, respiratory infection. So, all you have to know is, if there is a deficiency of vitamin, there is a higher chances of infection. And if there is a deficiency of vitamin, then in these people taking vitamin D can able to reduce your risk of death due to colorectal cancer. But if you have a normal level of vitamin D in your blood, you don't have to worry too much. And all you have to do is take the routine food which have high in vitamin D and expose yourself to the sun. Bypass surgery, angioplasty. This is Enhanced External Counter Pulsation. Heal Your Heart, Vasomeditech, EECP Treatment Center.